Did you see about the Giants today? Uh, no, I haven't seen anything on the Giants. The Giants had a fight, a full team brawl at practice, and who boy. Uh, Here's what ended up happening. Uh, quarterback Daniel Jones somehow ended up at the bottom of the pile. This is Ralph Vasciano. Uh, he covers the Bills up there. This is on his Twitter. He said, Joe Judge is... At, uh, this was in real time, by the way. Joe Judge is absolutely livid. He's got the players lined up now to run. Hard to see exactly what happened. Running back Corey Clement took a big hit at the end of a run. Tight end Evan Ingram retaliated. Then he got popped by Logan Ryan. And then everybody, and I mean everybody, jumped in said, after doing 100-yard runs and not hard enough for Joe Judge's liking, players are now lined up on the foul line uh, doing push-ups. There is dead silence except for Joe Judge's whistle and his expletives, so many expletives. Giants players are running goal line to goal line again and again, and now back to push-ups. Joe Judge is doing his, his best Herb Brooks imitation now, and now Joe Judge gathered his players around him, sent his coaches away. He wants them all to himself, and finally practices mercifully over. Wow, I've never seen Joe Judge that angry. Actually, I'm not sure I've ever seen anyone that angry. Um, Andrew jumps in. He said, Joe Judge is treating this team like it's high school, and I love it. Matt said, oh, man, I heard it was crazy. Uh, yeah, everything. That, so there were some videos of this, not anything that was, you know, really, really good quality. So you couldn't see exactly what happened to cause anything or what. But the fact that the team's starting quarterback and the franchise, uh, Daniel Jones, who have, they have invested so much in and built around, ends up at the bottom of a pile while everybody's fighting, obviously that's not good. I think that's probably what he got the most irritated about. But we have talked in the past about coaches that come in with a college mindset, like a, like a high school mindset. I don't know how effective this really is, right? Like, it, it, give, give me your thoughts here because I, these are grown men. And, and we just had Kelvin Benjamin that got cut from them who was complaining that he now he was trying to do a comeback, but he was complaining about the, you know, the rah rah whatever kind of situation that was going on where the coach was just trying to outwork him so that he would not want to be on the team, and then they waved him anyway. Uh, give me give me your thoughts here. I mean, it, that, that stuff doesn't bother me. Like him making them run sprint. Like, what do you think Bill Belichick makes people do? Like. What do you what do you think that big hill behind Foxborough's uh, training practice facility is, like running sprints and and running hills and doing push ups and doing bear crawls and all this stuff? Like I don't, I, some coaches don't make their guys do that, and a lot of those teams don't make the playoffs. And when they do make the playoffs, they always seem gassed late in games. So, like I, I think there's something to teams being more in shape than others. Okay, yeah, and getting them more in shape by using discipline and and this type of stuff when it happens, you know, I'm okay with that. That doesn't concern me. That doesn't bother me. Um, I actually think Joe Judge is probably a pretty good coach, and and I don't mind this. I don't like the way this team is built. That's the issue. Is I don't yes. like that the way they have wasted two super early first round picks on skill players, a quarterback that I don't believe in. I don't think he's the worst quarterback in the world. Problem with Daniel Jones is Daniel Jones gets treated badly. Like he's garbage. Daniel Jones is far from garbage, far, far from garbage, but we're, we're looking at him like he's a top four quarterback. Okay. And that's the issue is, is, is he shouldn't have went there. That's not his fault. All right. Yeah. Um, I, I think he's head and shoulders better than a, Carson Wentz, who went second, or Jared Goff, who went number one. Okay, I think he's worlds better than those guys. Then they use another second overall pick on a running back who has the prettiest thighs I've ever seen on a man in my <laughs> life. Okay, but but that in itself is not a credential. All right, agreed for winning. It's just not every running back in the league has beautiful thighs. They're running backs. That's what they do for a living. They work on their legs more than anybody alive outside of Phil Mickelson. Like, this is it. This is what they do, okay? And he, is he dynamic? Yes. Is he unbelievable? Yes. Yeah, when, he, Will when he's a healthy. a great running back on a bad team make that team a winning team? No. No, it's never happened. Never. Yeah, it, it's it's a completely different game now. So this isn't Gentleman a problem is playing with in the 80s. Judge. Yeah, this isn't this isn't my problem with Joe Judge. This is my problem with the way this team is constructed. Joe Judge addressing this team in the fight, man. I don't know what happened in the fight. I don't know what started it. So a running back got popped real good, you know. 
Evan Ingram didn't like it. Evan Ingram got popped by a defensive guy, and then all hell broke loose. That makes sense. It happens. Camp fights happen all the time. This seems to be much bigger than a normal camp fight, and so I, I guess extreme measures need to be taken for, for how you're going to handle it. But at the end of the day, when it's all over with, it's a damn camp fight, man. Yeah, and you're going to have they're, a bunch of these. They're, they're going to have 35 of them before the year's out. We only got 32 teams, okay? Multiple of these things are going to happen every week, every day. Well, I mean, we we did have one, uh, well, a little bit of one uh, with the Panthers, right? Steve Reed, AP reporter, said breaking Panthers practice has come to a halt. This was earlier this morning after wide receiver Keith Kirkwood is carted off after taking a hit to the head from defensive back JT Ebay. Ebay has been kicked out of practice. Scary moment. Uh, and Matt jumped in asking about that as well. Uh, Ebay, I think that's how you say his name, Ebay has been cut by the team. And yeah. and coaches no, are you very definitely can't hit. Yeah, you, you can't hit. And here's the thing. Like, I get – this is why camp fights are going to happen. Is defensive guys are going to try to make plays. But sometime in trying to make a play on a guy that's your teammate, you're going to hit them in the helmet. You're going to hit them in the knee. You're going to do something that normally causes injury, and we don't like seeing in the game. This also tells me that when we see it live in games, nobody's trying to do this shit, okay? It's just two grown men running at crazy rates of speed with two completely different objectives, all right? And and when they collide, bad things happen sometimes. Yeah, no, you're you're right. Uh, Randy Toy jumped in, said uh, not not on our show, but on the Twitter stuff that went out. Said for everyone asking, he led with his head uh, on a defenseless receiver. It's a flag and very dangerous to a player. Coaching staff was right to do what they did. Uh, th- apparently, this was not just a run of the mill. You know, running into somebody. This was. Which a rarely pair. run of the mill. It's a big. It's a big hit. Yeah, it's, it's a, a big, big hit. Play, and he dropped his helmet. And the thing is, is if he's doing it in practice, he's going to do it in the game. Which means no matter how big the play is, the other team is getting an automatic first down. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking at the video now. I didn't realize there was video. Yeah, he he got stretchered off. It was. It was not good. Not good. So either way, we are getting into uh, the doldrums of summer. We're getting into where everybody is fired up. All these teams are tired of being out in the heat already. I mean, it's really early. And don't forget, we got Thursday. For, uh, we got football on Thursday. Like, we got yeah. the NFL Hall the of Hall Fame of, game. The Hall of Fame game, baby. Cowboys and Steelers. I mean, we are, by the time we come to you on Friday morning, there will have been a game played. But I, I don't know that we're going to talk about it too much. I mean, it's just preseason. But we might talk about it after after Sunday. You never know. You never know. So, uh, with that said, we'll move on. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.